Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Amok Time Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Tiny and Shorty. The reason why Spot's really doing these as one video is just simply because it's the exact same figure. They've just painted it slightly different for each each of the figures. Um, they also look like they come with the exact same accessories, uh, really being that Tiny has the swapped out hands and he comes with the included boxer gloves. And Shorty has the boxer gloves on him and he just comes with, with the alternate hands as extra pieces. Um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space was a really interesting horror movie. If you haven't had a chance to watch it, I would definitely say give it a chance. Really ridiculous, but equally so, kind of in a good way. Spot's always been a big fan of that movie. Uh, this comes to us from the folks over at Amok Time uh, on the side of the package. Uh, deluxe action figure Tiny, and again, the same on the side for Shorty. Again, just same figure, just different, different paint, paint scheme. And then if we turn around the back of the package, you can see the two there. Uh, Deluxe Action Figure Tiny and Shorty, introducing the latest addition to the Monstars Figure Collection by Amak, Amak Time, or Amak Time uh, Toys. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This Deluxe Action Figure includes two sets of interchangeable hands, Clown, Ray, Gun, and Pie. Hands can be switched to hold accessories or put up their dukes. Remember, in space, no one can eat ice cream. You see what they did right there. To check out more from Amok, Amok Time, I don't know why Spy has such a tough time with that company name, but Amok Time, Amok Time, you can go to www.amoktime.com. Uh, Spot's going to take a break and get actually both of these opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Amok Time Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Tiny and Shorty. There's definitely more heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. So we got ourselves Tiny and Shorty out of packaging. Here we have Tiny and we have Shorty. Now again, it's the exact same figure. That's one of the reasons why Spot wanted to do the review at the exact same time. No sense in really doing two separate videos for really essentially the exact same figure. Um, the only real difference between the two is that they've just changed out the paint. Further inspection shows you that it, yes, it is in fact the exact same face, same sculpt, same uh, torso is the exact same. Um, same sculpt as well, like the same uh, arched shoes, the arched feet are the exact same as well. But really, for it being clowns, just changing out face paint and the coloring of the costumes, you really essentially could have, you know, two different clowns. Now, if you were to say to yourself, well, you know, that really would technically give us three clowns using the exact same sculpt because wasn't the initial clown the exact same sculpt? Well, actually bringing in the third clown, this was the original uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, you can see it is a completely different figure. Completely different figure also from the fact that uh, the original only had swiveled arms, whereas these actually have pin hinge socket arms. I'll show you guys that in a second, but yeah, you can see the difference between the two. This one is completely different from the tiny and shorty uh, behind him. And maybe one of these days, Spot will actually do a throwback and do a, a re-review of this guy right here. Uh, it's still a really neat, fun piece. Now also too, uh, with tiny and shorty, you get yourself accessories, but uh, they're only basically just hand accessories and uh, you know th uh, things of that nature. Whereas the original Killer Clown, I'm just reaching off to my black hole here, the original Killer Clown came with this really cool, I'll just get these two out of the way for a second. I really technically shouldn't even be doing this because it's, it has nothing really to do with Tiny or Shorty, but just to kind of give you guys an idea. The original Killer Clown from Outer Space did come with uh, this neat display stand that uh, had the cotton candy cocoons, like so. I don't have them completely pegged in, but you guys get the idea. Uh, he came with this really neat cocoon sack with one of the poor victims inside then they would take their straw and stick it in there and suck out the goodness of the little people inside there that hung on just like so and you know it was a really fun 
little uh, little diorama. That killer clown also came with uh, the, I think this is a popcorn gun, because I see like little popcorn kernels at the top there. I uh, came with the popcorn gun, which was also really the reason why he was sculpted a certain way. Kind of like you can see his elbow and arm is belt, bent a certain way to kind of hold the gun as you see. Um, but both Shorty and Tiny don't come with this gun either. So realistically, yeah, I mean, it's a completely different figure getting this guy versus, you know, the Tiny and Shorty release later. Uh, again, if you guys want to see me re-review him, let me certainly know. I'll just move this to the side because we're not really reviewing the, the original killer killer clown in this review um so essentially let's bring their accessories in essentially again it's the exact same figure just a different paint scheme and also too uh with shorty shorty's got currently boxing gloves on and you know you can kind of have him uh put up his duke's kind of pose which also would differentiate him from also his twin brother tiny you know, just because they, you know, again, would just be so similar to one another. Now, if you wanted to, both Tiny and Shorty come with the opposite hands to the ones that they're currently wearing. So, for example, uh, Shorty over here would have the alternate clown hands that are currently on uh, Tiny. Tiny, on the other hand, and I, no pun intended, also comes with the boxing gloves that currently is on Shorty. Uh, to change them out... You would just take the hand and wiggle it as it is a ball joint and it's extremely stiff to pull this socket out. But you pop it out, very, very big ball socket, and then you would just peg in properly, making sure that you've got the right hand here, pop in the alternate hand. And you can see, you know, again, you know, uh, Shorty now, well, Shorty, I keep getting the two confused, Shorty with the boxing gloves, Tiny with uh, you know, the regular human hand, or clown hand and then the boxing glove. I would likely, in my infinite wisdom, I would probably just keep one specifically with the clown hand and then one specifically with the boxing gloves. That way, again, it differentiates, it makes one distinctly different than the other. And really, that's that's the whole goal in mind. I mean, even if you do, are using the exact same figure, if you can kind of keep them different from one another, it can still work. Other accessories that come with actually both of them, and uh, you'll probably see also too that their one hand is kind of arched this way. And like, so why is their why is their hand like that? Well, because they also come with both of them come with this a pie, and you can take the pie and. It's not really magnetized or anything like that. It's not really clipped or a peg or anything like that that keeps the pie from slipping off his hand. But I mean, once you get him posed, you can kind of put a pie in his hand. Um, so both Tiny and Shorty do come with this pie and some pretty decent paint on it with the the tin, uh, the pie plate and the whipped topping on the top there. Uh, just so you guys can see, put him down for a second. There, there are the two pies together. Aside from just one being more gloopier with the paints, there they are the exact same uh, pie. There they are exactly the same. Also, the same accessory that they both come with are ray guns. So again, you could have Shorty with the boxing gloves on, and then you could have Tiny with the ray gun. And I didn't properly actually get I get this peg in on in all the way. There we go. There we go. Uh, you can take the ray gun and just peg it into his hand. You could even really, you could have the pie and the ray gun, or you can just have the the ray gun in his hand. And then you could have the two like that. And again, different really from one another when you start changing out accessories and different hands on them. Uh, for your articulation, we'll just leave tiny there. For your articulation, let's bring Shorty over here. Uh, their head is just actually on a straight swivel. Their clown collar actually is a loose piece as well. So it's it's not really connected to the head. It's not really connected to the torso. It's just a, an extra piece. So they have just a straight swivel in the head. Uh, the arms are on a just a, a straight swivel also. But where they differentiate from, and there I use that word again, uh, where they, they are different from the original clown the clown here uh, did have, and actually I 
I was wanting to correct himself there for a second. Uh, he did have the ball hinge joints here. These actually do have the ball hinge joints too. They're just really stiff. I thought they were just a swivel, but they're actually a hinge. But here on the original clown, he's just got the swiveled arm. Whereas both Tiny and Shorty have a hinge in the elbow. Especially for the boxing gloves, you know, it, it makes more sense that at least they've got a ball hinge or a hinge joint here. Because if they, it was just a straight swivel, you know, you probably wouldn't be able to get just the right pose on it. But being able to bend the elbow, you know, you've got the little extra, you know, stuff going on there. The rest of the body here, I mean, it's just all staction. It's just a sculpted piece of plastic. You can't really, you know, you can't really move or, or do anything to the body. Uh, but then the feet have just a very, very mild swivel. It's almost, you know what, it's almost not even existent. It's just a staction. You know, really, essentially, like, this whole piece is just a staction. I thought the legs could sw swivel a little bit, but they actually are just staction pieces. Killer Clowns is essentially really a, a, one of those movies that you either really like or you really don't like. Uh, I, I enjoyed The Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I thought it was a fun movie. And I thought the initial Killer Clown figure was a decent, decent figure. And I think by including the other two, I think it's a really nice touch with all three. Uh, then also you incorporate the display stand, which we'll just bring that in there like so. And again, you got a really, really nice setup between the three. Um, I guess as well. Let's bring in while we're at it. Let's set the scene. Let's bring in the popcorn gun there as well. Like so. And there we go. And as well, like this figure right here was Soda Toys. I think these ones too. It says Amok Time, but I think they're actually. I think they're. They are actually. Uh, under the same brand as Soda Toys as well. So essentially, they're all really under the same uh, toy line. I think there were also another line as well, or another release of these figures. Possibly it was using, the again, the exact same body, just, again, repainted in the head. There was also, I think, another one that was planned where it had a different head sculpt. I don't know if he was actually ever released. But uh, certainly, if you're a fan of Killer Clowns from Outer Space, I mean, these are really fun pieces to get. Uh, again, we've already had a look at the original clown, but I think if I could give a rating for both Tiny and Shorty, and I'll give them equally the exact same rating because they're really the same figure, uh, I would give them a 7.5. A 7.5 for you, Shorty, and a 7.5 for Tiny. Toy Spot, we were having a look at the Yamak Time. Uh, Monsters, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, deluxe action figure of Shor uh, Tiny and Shorty. Again, I don't know why I keep getting those two confused. Uh, these have been around for a bit, so I mean, if you are looking to pick them up, you probably your best bet is probably eBay and, and stuff like that. Uh, thanks for watching. Certainly, as you always do, guys. Thanks for sticking around and enjoying my videos. Uh, certainly, stay tuned. Spot's gonna have a lot more videos heading your way as well. Possibly not Killer Clown related, but definitely more videos heading your way. See you guys next time.